I don't tell you these things to panic you. I tell you this so with a sense of urgency so you may move with a sense of urgency. And it is the same reason why Citibank is telling you this today. They say it's either going to be inflation or a downward spiral into depression, civil disorder, and possible wars. They are talking about this on a global scale. They don't say that this is the United States, but gang. (sighs) There is trouble coming. They are throwing the kitchen sink at this. This is what I told you a year ago. I said there's going to come a point to where they're going to open up these valves so far that nothing will react. The stock market won't react. Nothing will. And they've got to turn those valves the other way. Because if they don't turn them the other way and shut this money supply off and do it quickly, you're going to have massive inflation. Well, Not only have they not shut those valves off, they've opened them up even more. You cannot do these things. No matter what our arrogance tells us that, oh, well, we've got it under control. Oh, well, this will happen or this will happen. These people are trying to change the course of a hurricane. And they're, they're, they're making it worse unless you prepare. I told you a year ago. I told you when I pulled out of the market, I got a phone call. This is over a year ago. And I said, I pulled everything out. And I got a phone call. And they said, you're telling people to pull out of the stock market. You're only making things bigger and better. I said, nobody's listening to me. Nobody's listening to me at this point. I'm just telling you what I've done. You make your own decision. But you know what? And I, and I prayed about this because I felt, I almost felt in a way like a betrayer of my country because I thought, how, is, how am I pulling my money out? We need to be able to have jobs. We need to be able to build. And it came to me, there must be someone with something left to be able to restart. You must protect your family. You must protect these things because you're going to need to be able to restart. There's got to be somebody left to be able to say, okay, let's pick ourselves back up. The world is not going back to normal. This is a quote. The world is not going back to normal after the magnitude of what they have done. (sighs) That's Citigroup. The world will not go back to normal after the magnitude of what they've done. This is what I told you three weeks ago when I said the, the, G, the G20 were meeting. I said they're dropping framework. It's a new world order. They know. They know what's coming. They are, they, no matter what they say, oh, we're, we're just meeting to see what we can do. No, they're not. They are dropping in the new world order. They, if I know it, if my sources are good enough and I'm smart enough, a guy who never took an economics course in my life can look at all of these things and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, no way out. You're blocking all the exits. You know they do. They see it. This will lead to political instability. And they talk about European countries, like Hungary, there is risk of domestic domestic unrest, starting with strikes. Gang, Amy just called in 15 minutes ago. She was a caller. She just called in. And I, I specifically, and I didn't point it out then, I hadn't read this article. I didn't point it out then, and I wasn't uh, wildly overt. Anybody who has ears heard. I said, listen to her voice. I said that for a reason, because I want those who are listening, those who have ears to listen and eyes to see. I needed you to hear Amy, a regular person, just like you, so angry and so, so sad on what's happening. She knows it. Americans, your gut is telling you this. Don't dismiss it. Follow your gut. If China would make that one move, no one's lending us any more money. So all of the things that we borrow 
<laughs> has to be purchased with something else. You want prescription drugs? Okay, we can't borrow the money from China anymore. We need $500 billion more, half a trillion dollars more for a stimulus package so we can train people to go out and buy a new television set to keep the economy going. No one is going to borrow. No one is going to lend us that $500 billion. We're at the end, gang. We're at the end of that game. And so how do they pay for it? They print it because governments can do that. 